pretty. Oh, this is where I came from. sure there's no one in here but me. That's okay, though. I... I'm really scared right now. Everything's dark, and I'm probably going to set this place on fire. Oh. Jeez, you're loud! Gosh. Get out of here. No dancing allowed. There's no dancing allowed in this town! Dancing leads to having. <gasps> Bye! No! I'm okay, thanks! What's that? I keep. Ugh, I keep the monster! I'm really scared! Hey! Hey, friend! Let this little light of afraid I'm gonna eat, see a face eater. It won't open, it's locked. Great. I'm really afraid I'm gonna see the monster at some point here and I'm going to pee myself. No! I don't know which buttons to push. Not even scared. I'm just... Which one? There's a hole in the bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my wall, dear Liza. A hole. Um... Okay. <gasps> a chest! Oil tender box. Hey! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble, and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Try playing the here, piano without a chair. Here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Here, 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 and here. And over here. Let's see that ghosty bastard try to play a piano without a chair. You suck! Wait. 
So I have to find the entrance to the local history room, and then I have to find the key to the wine cellar. Great! Fucky Ritter Carpet! <gasps> Why? 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 I can't close the door! I can't close it! Please don't eat me! After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Shiny. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. I took that chair away! Well, let me see. Because I'm assuming we have to go through that hole in the wall. Pick it up. Good. So, supernatural forces. Hmm. Yay! Break things! You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Oh, this is the book thing. Ah, yes! The, uh... Okay. Um... The fuck you. Ah. And then this one. I'm assuming I'm doing this correctly. And then light. Uh nope. And then uh I'm assuming this is the last one. Wait, did it not work? It didn't work. Why not? I'm gonna pick this book. See if we can break it. Wow! Okay. Uh, Allstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Allstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ooh. Ask any local and you will hear the proof, hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. Uh, okay, that's fine. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought with their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They moved silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called the Gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged down behind them, which reveal their presence. 
What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for the remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many of the records of time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Allstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at the castle nearby Allstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as a protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived in the through time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with, Sa uh, along with the great leaders of this country. So monsters? Agrippa, who goes missing, but somehow appears to die ten years later after he's seen in the area, and then Alexander being immortal. Well, this sounds fun. I remember... I remember the... I... 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 I remember the part where Alexander was trying to, like, find something to... And you need to clean these floors. Oh god, I thought he, I heard him gasp. Um, okay, so there's the key. I'm going to look for stuff. Because I have a feeling that Mr. Monster Friend is going to come eat my butt at some point. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Oh, nice. So, he's gonna just, like, murderize a whole room of people. That sounds like a great plan! <gasps> yep! I knew it! 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 It was gonna happen at some point! My heart just dropped into my stomach. I, I wasn't really ex I was trying to be preemptive. I have anxiety. Give me a break. Hello? Come on! Fight me! Oh, the door is open now. I'm out of oil. Let's fix that. Okay. Ah! <coughs> I almost choked on my own spit. Oh my god. I 
I got shit to do, man. Come on. Get out of here. I'm done.